may have heard of a piece of legislation called the Equality Act 2010. It's a law that protects employees against discrimination for certain reasons, and these reasons are called protected characteristics. They can include things like race, age, um, gender and disability. That means that if you or a colleague have a health condition, there's a possibility that this could be considered as a disability under the Equality Act. Now that's not to be confused with being registered as disabled or having a blue badge. You can be covered by the Equality Act without being registered disabled. So to be covered by the Equality Act, your health condition needs to be substantial and it needs to be long term. Typically, this means that issues, um, the issue needs to impact upon your speed or ability to do daily tasks like getting dressed. Uh, and the condition also needs to have affected you for uh, 12 months or more. Also, things like HIV, cancer and multiple sclerosis are automatically covered as disabilities under the Equality Act. So if you or someone you know is covered by the Equality Act, that means that their employer has an obligation to implement what's called reasonable adjustments within the workplace. That's quite a complicated matter, so we'll cover that in the next session. But whether or not someone is covered by the Equality Act is ultimately a legal decision. But in the early stages, it's generally appropriate for an employer to refer someone to occupational health to determine whether it's likely that they will be covered by the Equality Act. This is so that they can start to think about things like uh, what adjustments that the member of staff may need to be considering or what adjustments the employer should be implementing on behalf of that member of staff.